Apollo 12 was the second lunar landing mission and it launched on November 14th of 1969. And this time around, there was a little bit more science involved. Five days after launching through famously stormy skies, Apollo 12 Commander Pete Conrad brought the lunar module Intrepid down for a pinpoint landing on the moon's ocean of storms. This pinpoint landing was pretty significant. When Apollo 11 went to the moon, the crew had a rough landing area but no pinpoint landing position. It was up to Neil Armstrong in real time to pick the best looking landing spot. For Pete Conrad, he had to land near a spacecraft, Surveyor 3, that had landed on the moon three years previously. Part of the Apollo 12 mission was to recover some hardware from this old spacecraft. You have to remember that when engineers started planning a mission to the moon in the early 1960s, no one really knew what the moon was going to be like. It was possible that engineers would design a spacecraft to land on something rocky like the Arizona desert and find that the moon surface was actually covered in about 10 feet of something the consistency of icing sugar. No one really knew what they were getting into and they had to do some in situ reconnaissance before sending a manned mission to land on the surface. The Surveyor program sought to address these issues. It was designed to scope out the moon in advance of the Apollo moon landings by gathering information about the surface environment and also just figure out a little bit more about the moon and its environment. Surveyor 3 launched from NASA's Kennedy Space Center more than two years before Apollo 12 on April 17th of 1967. It reached the moon after a three-day transit and, thanks to its Doppler and radar altimeter, managed a soft landing in the ocean of storms. The spacecraft lived for two weeks on the surface, that's one lunar day, and spent 18 hours and 22 minutes digging small trenches and took 6,326 pictures. It returned information on the strength, texture, and structure of the lunar material to Earth, information that helped Apollo mission managers design the Apollo lunar landing vehicle. On November 19th of 1969, during their second moonwalk, astronauts Al Bean and Pete Conrad walked over to Surveyor. They recovered some of the TV equipment and also the scoop from the spacecraft and brought it back to Earth. It was the only in-situ intersection between Apollo and one of its predecessor missions. Apollo astronauts recovering hardware from a previous mission that landed on the moon and landing pinpoint for science. It happened this month in space.